first of all, I just really, really want to thank everyone for coming from the bottom of my heart. Happy New Year. Um, so we know why we're all here, but we have some things to do before we get started. Can we have um, Malachi's pastor, Jason Davenport, come and open us up in prayer? And also share any uh, words of wisdom that he might have. I just first want to say congratulations to Malachi. Um, not only do I have the privilege to cover him as his pastor, but uh, Malachi's family, man, I got to watch him grow up. Ever since he was a boy, he's always had a basketball in his hand. You probably went ahead a thousand times tonight, so I ain't gonna say that, so I ain't gonna say that. But um, one thing I will say about him, and I've been in church 34 years of my life, and it's not often you come across a young man that has um, a passion and a heart for God as strong as he does. It's not, uh, it's not a front, it's not a show. It's not just on social media. He really loves the Lord. And um, something I just want to tell him, anybody else listening, you always put God first. The sky's the limit. Literally, there's nothing you can't do when you keep God first. And so just that example alone, um, God's going to take you very far because you keep him first in everything that you do. And so that being said, let's pray. I will bless the food too while we pray and open this. Father, we thank you for this uh, moment. We thank you for this opportunity to just gather here and celebrate with Malachi on a special day today. God, we ask you to be with us today. We ask you to bless this occasion. God, we ask you to allow this time to be a time of celebration and uplifting him for his accomplishments and all that he's done. We acknowledge you in this moment and we thank you for all that you've done to bring us this far. And so God, we say thank you for the decision that he's going to make today. And we ask you to be with him now, be with him forever, be with him tomorrow, that God keep your hand over him no matter where he goes, that you'll continue to show your favor and your grace upon him in his life. Give him travel and mercies wherever he goes. Have uh, God, we ask you to just continue to show yourself strong in his life. God, support his family, lift his family up in this moment. Bless every individual that is here to support him his community and god we ask you even now while we're here to bless the food that we that we will receive today in jesus name amen um coach jd has uh been one of malachi's um personal coaches since he was i don't know maybe like eight or nine years old he's been involved for a long time always in the background if you uh follow malachi with basketball and been to any games you've seen this man very humble Never ask for anything in return but hard work. So we went with Coach Shady to have a couple work. Thanks to everybody who showed up today to support Malachi. Uh, I want to give a big thanks to his mom and dad who allowed me to work with Malachi. Uh, give a big thanks to everybody who has uh, contributed to Malachi's success in basketball and as a young man. First, we're going to start with the baby Cougars where I first met Malachi uh, years ago. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, the Seneca AAU organization. We go on to uh, Renaissance uh, AAU team. And last but not least, my favorite, it's the thrill, baby. Mighty thrill out of Baltimore. Coach Mookie and his staff. Uh, we got two uh, of the coaches here from Coach Thrill today. Thank y'all for showing up. Um, when you think about a basketball player and you think about some of the traits that's needed, you think about work ethic, you think about love for the game, and you think about the ability to comprehend. And if you can comprehend, then you can show wisdom of what you have learned on the court when it most count. And Malachi possessed all these things at a young age. He never complained about workouts. He always been respectful and he had the thing that was really needed. You had to love this game. When you love something, you're going to put your all into it. And that was Malachi at a young age. I remember times when we worked out five days a week, three hours a day. I wanted a break. He called me on Saturday morning. Coach, where you at? We got to get in the gym. Malachi, take a break. No, coach, I need to get in the gym. Some days I call him after five days of workout. Malachi, let's go. Coach, I want to break. No, Mally. Coach, I ain't going. I call Lamont or Juanita. Next thing you know, you're in the car going to work out. Malachi, the things that got you here, keep those things. Be humble. Keep that work ethic. Continue to have that love for the game. University of Maryland is getting a great basketball player, but more importantly, they're getting a good person, very respectful. Never be a follower. Always be a leader. What, what's, what's more important than hard work? What beats hard work, Malachi? Nothing. He learned that and he still keeps that mindset. 
So in return, Mally, you're here today because, not because you were lucky, but because of all the work you put in. I see great things. You know what your goals are. Continue to work hard. Malachi Palmer. Mm -hmm. First of all, his family. His family, they just, he had a great support team. And Malachi, man, yo. Y'all know his nickname? Y'all know, y'all don't know Malachi's nickname? The world about to know it, all right? Mally the machine. That's, that's what we gave him. That's the machine right there. You know when they say, I'm about that life, that's what they say, I'm about that life. He about that life. He about that work. I ain't surprised at all. It's, it's so much more to come, but that's, it's crazy. It's, Right here. He was like six or seven, eight. Putting in work like a man. He would say, he would say some, man. I would say, it'd be 12 o'clock. We done. I gotta make this many. It'd be 12.30, his mom would come to that door. Boy, if you don't come out here, I'll be like, he run out, and I'm talking about, we'll be from like eight to 11, every day, for you. every day. It was crazy, and he loved it. He fell in love with it, and, and she was cold too. And Genesis said, he ain't gonna be the only one. But nah, they all used to come through for real. She used to get busy too, but that right there, that was unreal. It's, it's stories and stories, but I'm a little caught up and just happy, happy for Mala and his family. But MP, the machine. Thank you. We only have one more speaker left before we hear from Malachi, and that is Coach Mike from Team Thrill. Malachi. How you all doing, everybody? Uh, my name is Coach Mike Jones. I coach with Team Thrill UAA. Um, so I've only known Malachi for maybe about four years at this point. Um, but God-fearing man, humble, pure kid, and just an all-around good kid at the end of the day. Kudos to his parents and his family, all the fan, friends and family. Um, I coached Division One basketball at the University of Miami, uh, Temple University, and Howard University for about 10 years before I got sick. Um, and the most important thing that I'm going to share with you is do not let basketball use you. Use the game for what it, it's worth, right? Um, I have a bachelor's degree in economics. Um, I have a Juris Doctorate and I have a Master of Divinity all paid for by basketball. So at the end of the day, the basketball is going to stop dribbling at some point. Um, so at the end of the day, what you need to do, get that education um, and then everything else is going to take care of itself. Um, so on behalf of the Team Thrill, organization um, we are happy for you I'm praying for you and good luck thank you Malachi you have a mic in front of you you can pick it up and take it from here well first I just want to thank God because without him none of this would be possible um, I'm nothing without him so I like to give him glory in everything that I do and say I want to thank my family my mom dad my siblings for always keeping me focused keep me in the gym out of trouble keep me with a ball in my hands I want to thank all my friends for always supporting me, uh, my teammates, my coaches and trainers, all of y'all who came here to support me. It really means a lot more than y'all could even imagine. But without further ado, I'll be attending the University of Maryland. Go Terps. 